Nice job. And maybe, uh, no, I think you got it all the way. Cool. So we were figuring that one is 15 and 16 down there that Pete's crew is working on. So this one would be 14 and 13. So let's cut number 13 and uh, move on down the line. One cut, two cuts. That looks like a one cutter. One cut there and it's going to break right there. I think uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> Down, down in the dirt more? Or just a little bit more angle. Oh, down this way, okay. I can do that. Just a little bit. Are you binding? Nope. Uh, maybe a little bit. Okay, we got just enough room to get a wedge in there. Why well, we don't? better or is it still bound? What's that? I think it's good. It's good. Like... Give it a test to uh... yep. one more. Oh. I had to do that one more, you know what I mean? We both sit on your side and two, one big kick. <laughs> Would that do it? <laughs> sure. Worth a shot. It just seems so uh, cracked and hollow. But it's probably a lot harder than I think it is. Give it a give it a whack. I mean, it's also possible too. You break that other side and use the leverage. Nice job. That was a good instinct. You're getting good instincts. That's good enough for me. <laughs> this is, I'm, I think I'm getting the part where I want to like be done with this. <laughs> well, okay, then maybe that's good instinct. And remember, not end over end. So let's see if you can uh, just toss it this way. Yeah, just watch the camera. Right. Oh, shit. All right, so get that one. I don't see any, yeah, there's, I think there's a big one right up there, isn't there? Yep. Um, so let's not cheat the saw. Let's just go for a walk. Well, why don't you put it back and then, or two things. See where it's broken right there? See that rock? I, well, that's what I was thinking. If I can get on that rock. Get it on that rock and, and see if you can bounce it on that rock a couple of times and break it. And if not, then we use the axe and maybe we can do that. Drop it hard and... Oh, okay, you're gonna go for that rock, cool. I was thinking of the rock that was closer, but a rock is a rock. That's probably a better choice of rocks. I think I got something on that one. Yep. I think you might need another rock bounce. Nope, you're gonna brute force it. Nice job. And then you just sewing machine or uh, typewriter back the other one. So it's out of the trail. Oh, that had more weight than I thought. You had all that leverage before. And there you go, it's back out of the trail. And the only other thing I can think of at this point is, let's grab this log that you threw here and use it and put it right here so people don't go that way. You see what I'm saying? So 
So you see that big one log right there? Let's set it on just behind it. That log rock right there. Put it right on the back side of that log. Back side of or that rock. See the rock right in front of you? This one? Yep, put it on the back side of it. All right, so let's get to cutting. That's my, that's my thought. It's a dream, let's go with it. Get to clear the top one and then... Don't we want to drag it all the way over there where we just put that log? I don't see a break in this. Close enough that we can leverage. We're going to be two cutting this one. Maybe the bottom one has a break, but that top one definitely doesn't. So we're going to be pulling a section out. We want to bring it this way because it's downhill. So we want to open the cut that way like a pie shape, right? So this drops out and we want to angle it down so it drops down. I think I just ran myself out of water. Yeah, I don't. I got some. Can you some? Well, it's bad when it's a little bit past 10 a.m. and I was wrong on my time on the last one, but it's a little bit past 10 a.m. and I've already drank three liters of water. It's now 11:05. I think we need one of the better taper ones. You have one of the other wedges? Uh, blue or the... Blue or yellow yeah, or... Get Pete's opinion and make sure that this is the trail. It should be the trail here. Yeah. Uh, group up. Yep. Okay. And we're headed, so this is eight and nine, I think. We're heading, uh, heading to strike up here. Yeah, that was that one that's got that cool uh, burn pattern. Yeah. Right in the middle of the log, like, or maybe it came down and it almost looks like it grew around it, if you really think about it. Well, look at the look at the growth pattern around the burn mark. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost wonder if, because um, this was all the BNB complex fire, I wonder if this predates the BNB complex fire. It was a small singe, and the tree continued to grow around the burn. All right, where are we at here? And an ugly spot. Right now, though. A little of that wedge is in there, it definitely helps. We got through. And we, okay, I'm gonna get the wedge in there more. You wanna make sure the saw doesn't fall? Yes, sir. Just don't want my hand to be. Don't want my hand to be. Think. More wedge? Yeah. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now we go. Oh, I still have a little bit. Out of saw? Out of saw? 
Woo! That's my thought is that we lift it up. <laughs> okay, so minor. I'm of the opinion that even though that's way off the trail, I mean, this obviously is the better place to cut it. Or do you think we can rock bar it that way? Well, I was wondering, we both got under how heavy it is, and it's on a it's on a balance point there, and we push it all the way over that log that just came down. Yeah, we can try it. That yeah, balance point is, oh, I see what you're saying, just pivot it all the way down this way. Yeah, yeah. Is it too heavy? Uh, let's uh, use a rope. I'm gonna grab my rope because I just don't. This has a weight rating. That one has got so many holes in it. It's been twisted so many damn times. I just can't walk with it. Oh shit. Let me try. You want to be on the downhill side? Can I try to? No, this doesn't make sense, but what happens if I push on it? Well, let's start by moving our stuff. <laughs> the rope is already impinged under it, so the rope is just going to get run over. Do what you want to do. the same thing to do. I'm just not good at doing it. I would like to try that shoulder thing again. I'm not. Shit, look at you, you're a beast. All right, let me see how this is done. I think we cut it right there now that it's on the walk. What do you think? Sorry. Straight up. Fast ass butt cut. Oh, sorry. One second. This guy. Found the one and only log and the one and only bit of shade here and cut it out. Ours was too. And uh, we had some brilliant insight. Yeah. We one cut our second one. You so should tell you should tell guys. this what's that? We're in the home stretch. Yeah. I think there's like six more to go or something. We can do it. Yep. Oh. And then I would imagine at some point or another when you choose, and obviously it's optional, is bring another crew back for that corner. Huh? For number 10. Have you found our next log? Okay. Supposed to have it all cut out by the time I get there. Take the little saw and cut one end of that before you destabilize that other one that's above it. Okay, well then, yeah, you've been carrying it this whole way. This is where I think the pry bar comes in handy. Yeah. I think you could pry bar that out. Let's do it. And I'm egging you on, but if you want me to grab the pry bar, let me know. Um, I'm not going to stand here. Yeah. 
Oh, never mind, Mac. Um, let me get a uh, stob that's underneath it. Lower it down a bit. Lower it down a little bit. There's at least that one and this one right here. Swinging. Wow, that one's buried. Is that a root? Yeah, that's a stob. You should see how deep they get buried sometimes. Anything else you want out? Winning lottery numbers. I do not have those. Beautiful. That thing is turning out to be very, very handy. I like that rock bar. I, I, I think you need to uh, reply to the email list <laughs> with a link to that rock bar. <laughs> I will. And if it included an Amazon gift coupon, you know, I'm... <laughs> little donation to the BCTA, right? Nice work. Yeah, that's all we need. Okay. And then we'll uh, cut this little one. Okay. And then uh, meet you at the next. Right. But hey, it looks better. You may end up doing a dreaded underbuck with that. Oh, I can snap, I'll snap it. Snap it before I get to that. Now my concern is, is there's this big log up here. You start picking this up, that log is going to catapult itself into this. So for me, I would not be uh, messing with the juju of this. Uh... Why don't you stomp on it? You want me to stomp on it? Hey, nice job. Okay, celebratory, throw it into, into space. Okay. This is for Pete. Nice job. Or three or something, so my guess is there's one or two more. Okay. Uh, if we switch back, we we'll go where we finished up last night. That's the stopping point. Right. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'm going to pass around. on the low side and... Uh, hey, John. Fat bandana. You look like you've been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the style points. Uh, I don't know if I turn that on or off. Yes. Switch back up ahead. No more logs. Well, other than number big ten back there. Big evil ten. That is the switch back. That's where we finished cutting last night. Wasn't there? Uh, one log? Yeah. No, I think we got them all. All the way to the switchback. That means everything's downhill from here. Oh. <laughs> You're back. Are we done? Um, well, unless you, we were going for Big Ten. It's, now it's noon. We should, and he's running out of water. I'm running out of water.
finish this log and uh, you guys can head on back if you want. Okay, so well. We typically do lunch back down at the uh, lake where everyone has uh, fresh water and shade and that sort of thing. So. Okay, sounds good to me. Yep. Good job. You guys, I'm really, again, one more time, I'm, my hat's off to you guys. Well, we were just saying what a good job you do. No. Yeah. Just, Seriously, I'm... You guys are beasts. I mean, to do this multiple times in <laughs> seven years, I mean... Yeah, well, that's, I'm, I'm yeah, glad I have. So, I'm glad I have so many kids. I understand. I'm a pay it forward guy. I threw hiked the PCT in 2010, so and there weren't a lot of logs on the trail when we hiked it, and so you know this is our way of my wife and I of kind of giving back to the community. Well, that's amazing too. I've never yes. known anyone who's trail hiked it. I'd love to hear some stories sometime. Yep. Right. Well, we'll st uh, we'll stick around. You're 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 okay. almost through, and yeah. there's no point in splitting up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, still. But yeah, uh, we were just saying that we had uh, another run on our last project, and uh, you guys, you know, so really energetic. Uh, you know, without you, you know, I have two guys that basically invested on this project, so you turned out to be key pieces of this to no. be able to get this job done. No, thanks so for having I, I, I was worried when you sent that email, but. I would just kind of be tagging so I'm glad I would do my part. If we didn't have two people on both ends of that saw, especially losing two folks, we would have been in big trouble. There's no way we would have finished this without two crews. That might go tumbling down the hill. One thing I can't do. <laughs> yes. And I'll let you use your wedgie thing to All right. get that out of there. Is that what we were calling the rock bar? The wedgie? No. <laughs> you want the honors? Sure. Yeah, since he carried it all the way. You should have the honors. Thank you. His spear? Yeah. The spear of Kurt. Just like all saws have names, that one needs a name too. Actually, I shouldn't call it the wedgie thing, I should call it the lever thingy. All right. Hate to do this, but I'm gonna do this. Somebody hand me that Pulaski. Ooh, that's not. No, I'm and just... Matt, the axe is in the log. It is. We you did good. Got this tool all the way out here. Yeah, no kidding. Where do we need to end this? Fade it in here. Yeah, it looks like there'd be, you know, a little runoff this way. There we go, much improved. Smoky, it's gotten. I mean, here we are walking out, and that smoke is pouring in. Ah. Yeah, you're right, because they're. We saw all that stuff trapped down there in that thermocline. Right. Down. The same on the other side here too. 
Yeah. See our stand up, stood up stump? Yes. Just because it seemed like the appropriate thing to do. That and three. It, it stood up after you uh, cut Well, it. we actually had to pick it up. Oh, I see. But it was light enough that we could grab it. And three three rocks stacked on top of each other's and it was a trail indicator, so right. <laughs> with all the confusing mess over here it seemed appropriate. Uh -huh. Did you have a business trip tomorrow you got it? No, I'm my son and I am tech we're going to Chicago. Uh -huh. And where, the big so evil ten. That's where I'm from originally. Oh where in Chicago? Uh well for Evanston. Yeah. And then but my sister's Left for another day. And then I'm um, from there. I'm driving him up to Minnesota to go back to school. Oh, cool. Well, that'd be nice if you get to spend a little time in Eli. Yeah, yeah. Is this the last log, or does it yeah. only count as a half? Don't put the axe in the path of the. Uh, Down the trail and then off the trail? Yeah, probably. Maybe if, uh, how heavy it is. It's not that oh. bad, actually. How's the weight been? I am. I think everybody else is probably about 20 minutes behind me. 